Hey guys, this is me, Chris Armando, and today we're back with another reaction video. So today, I'm going to be reacting to Goddess by Banks. I got two requests to react to this, so I've been wanting to listen to Banks for a while, like a full project of hers. And this project specifically, because in the title it says this is a continuation of Lana Del Rey's Ultraviolence. So, I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. I have no time to wait. Chat number one, Alibi. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. Give me one excuse. Mm. This song is about trying to convince yourself to stay in something that you know is bad or something that turned out really bad, but you're so deep into it. That you just want, just one excuse to make her say. This reminded me of the, um, a million reasons. Ooh, I like this. I love the production. And then the end when she throws back into that piano. Yes, I like it. Good, good, good start for sure. Track number two, Goddess, the title track. Ooh. Uh-uh. Ooh. Ooh. Period. You didn't see the fucking worth in her, but you fucking tore it down. Mm mm. Ooh. So, like, ooh. This is empowerment. Fucking with the guys and you get a little calendar. Oh. Seeing how she kind of censors it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, girl. Ooh, I love it. It's interesting because she kind of censors out the majority of the song, of course, but at the end is when she uncensors it. Kind of, kind of symbolizing bringing back her powers, bringing herself back to a powerful state after this person tore her down, but now she knows you messed with someone you should have not fucking messed with. I know that is fucking right. Which is good. Try number three, waiting game. Oh, what is this? This is offensive. Ooh, that piano. Oh! This is- oh my god. Ooh. I need headphones. I need headphones listening to this album. Oh my god. I'm getting chills. Oh my god. I'm getting actual chills. Can y'all see that? Oh my god. Wow. 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 I am blown away by this song. It's like that very subtle, quiet dominance. That's what I attribute this song to. Like, it's like... Someone that you doesn't like go all loud and show their dominance, but it's just quiet. But you know that once they enter that room, you need to shut the fuck up. Even if they don't say shit, you need to stop fucking talking and fucking bow down. Because you just fucking know their energy. But the concept of the song is basically, I don't want to fucking wait around anymore. This feels evil, this is hurting me. And I'm sticking it around because I like it, but I don't want to get hurt anymore. But I don't want to say love is a waiting game anymore. <gasps> I love this song. Oh my god, this song is so good. Wait, hold on. I'm so shook. Let's move on to Island number four, Brain. Interesting. It sounds different. Oh, am I going to relate to this? Am I going to like know what you're talking about? I think I am. Oh no. Nothing about the waiting game. Ooh. Ooh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh wait, I- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I had to realize this is what this song's about. Oh my god. <laughs> this song's about seeing potential in someone. But not realizing like their actual like actions right now. It's about 
knowing that this person is gonna fucking act like a fucking douchebag and be kind of a piece of shit, but you see that they could possibly change, and you can see that they could possibly change to become a better person, and somehow you think it's gonna be for you. Oh, I know. Oh my god. Okay, I relate to this from her perspective. Good night. I just don't know anymore. I just don't. This. What the fuck? I'm hurting right now. This is not okay. Cause I. Oh my god. I love this. Oh. Let's move on. Track number five. This is what it feels like. Ooh. This is what it feels like. As you should. Oh no. Oh. Oh. This one was the first one where I kind of felt like I was losing it. I was like, I was getting it and it sounded good, but I just wasn't like into it as much as the other songs gravitated me. I feel like I need to listen to it again. That's how they did it. Because it is a it is a good song, it's just I don't how I know how I feel about it. <laughs> Not number six, you know where I'm coming. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting lyric. Relate to that. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. I like this one. It's basically just being kind of honest with your person that she likes. She's trying to say, I am hurt still. I'm damaged from my past. So you should know where I'm coming from before you jump into this relationship and, you know, realize the things I have to carry and the things I'm still dealing with. Y'all know I'm a sucker for ballads. So piano in there. Yes. We love. We stand. Chat number seven, stick. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that production on the back. Ooh, it kind of picks up. Honestly, I could listen to this again. I do like the production. I do like the production. Um, it's a good song. It is. It's basically trying. It's trying to find a home in somebody, trying to make a home in somebody, and that's something we all crave. So I feel this one's also relatable as well. Try number eight. Fuck him. Only we know. Period. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this song's sweet. Wait. Oh. Oh, wait. I like this one. No. It's like a loner come together like, oh my god, I want this. By your side. I knew this would be harmony. I knew it. Ooh, I like the, ooh, I like that part. Ooh. I like this one. This is my almost romantic ass bop right here. This one right here. That, oh my god, I love this one, I love this one, I love this one, I love this one. Cause it's so cute. Come on. I hate myself for doing that. Okay. And you go quiet, I hate myself. Period. Pet number nine, drowning. Ooh. So what is gonna sound like it's gonna be one of my favorites, I already know it. Ooh. Period. Period. Period! Oh my god, me. Not me going for Holos Romantic to this. That's so me. Ooh! Oh! Ooh! That she don't see me. Ooh, trying to avoid it, trying to get rid of it, trying to get away. To love you, gone and get some bad. Then you are not deserving. And this line. You're so bold, why am I watching me? Oh! 
The wig kind of merged. No, don't jump for this hoe. Yes, I love this song. I love this one. Ooh. I'm not good, good at aiming, but at you though, I'll do the, I do whatever. Ooh. Oh. But you don't understand, don't know what you get. Ooh. This is saying that this person knows that they could do some damage if they really wanted to. See, I'm acting the part. I'm acting the way you want me to act. But trust me, I can turn this shit around easily. You secretly knew that I could fucking hurt you. I could do worse to you. I could make you feel worse. I, but you don't. You're not that slick. I know what you're doing. I'm just acting the part right now. This song feels like it should be a movie. It just does. This song just feels like it should be on a movie. Ooh, track number 11, change. Yep, answer fucking questions, y'all. If you're not gonna fucking make yourself look shady as hell. Oh, this is gaslighting. Ooh. Period. I'm doing this for me, and I look better than you. I don't know why you're trying to bring me down, too. Oh my god, girl. I'll change, bitch. Then do it. <laughs> do it. Stop saying you'll change. Just do it. Fucking dumbasses. Change hey, Oh my god. She perfectly capsulates their, like, demeanor, too. Like, this song's so rough at first, and then all of a sudden... There we go, daddy issues. This is empowerment right here. This girl's powerful. This woman... It's powerful. I, just swear, I, just swear. I feel like she likes that this person is trying to like, trying to appease her. Like, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. It's just really worshiping her, even though they don't change. Ooh, this song's basically saying, match your fucking wish of your actions, please. I'll change, I swear, and I fucking do it. This woman is powerful. This time I realize how powerful this woman fucking is. I think that's why this song is called God, or this album is called Goddess. Cause this woman is powerful. I don't know what it is, but she, I can just tell this woman has power over any situation. I know that's right. Track number 12, Someone New. What is going on here? This is different. Yeah, sometimes space isn't necessary. Space is a good thing though. We need to have some space sometimes from people. Well, wow. yeah, see, this song is so me. Oh my god, this song's so relatable. That I need space. The song's reminding me of her most, like, one of her most recent albums, the one before the newest one that just came out. Ooh. I really liked it. Wow, it's so ch that bridge was the, what that bridge was what killed me though. It was like I'm doing this for you too to grow into the person. Don't learn with someone else. I need space. I need time. And I think it brings a really good conversation of you know even when you're in a relationship you need to have your own space. You need to have your own time. That's something with me being you know alone. Single, I should say, for 18 years, uh, my entire life. Something I have learned is that I need space. As much as I love somebody, I need to sometimes just be alone. I'm a very, I'm a loner. I need to have my own space. I need to have my own time to recuperate. And it's a good thing because when we're separated, you can do your own work. You can do your own, like she said too. Maybe this was more like more like a break. Even just even if you're like maybe a day, you're still together, but you just have like a day apart from each other. Not only just like, you know, physically, but also emotionally and mentally. You can do a lot of work on yourself too. I liked it. Chat number 13, warm water. Ooh. This is about trying to get someone to love you, but in a very, not like a pushy way, but just maybe just a little bit of time with me. That's all you need. I know that's right. This reminds me of if we were water from her project. Liked it.
it's like it's kind of the beginning stages of a relationship, I think. Just, just, just trying to, just, just, just thinking, just give me some time and we're we'll able to do this. Track number 14, the last track on the main album, Under the Table. Ooh. Oh, this hurts. It's like loving someone who doesn't really want you back, but you still are trying. Oh my god. Ooh. That's any part of her voice. Ooh, there's so many emotions in the song. I like this one. As an ending, it's so real. It's like just. You know, even at the end of a powerful thing, you're still love to someone and it's still tearing you down. This person, literally Banks wants the person so bad there that Banks is willing to literally say, I am willing to learn to love the game of heartbreak just to be with you because I love you so much and I want to be with you. So just give me a chance. Oh my god. That hurts. Oh, that'd be an offensive ending to the album. Ooh, that's such an offensive ending. Let's move on to the deluxe tracks. I was not going to listen to these, but I kind of want to listen to them. So let's do this. Track number 15, and I drove you crazy. Ooh, damn. And that's where I continue it continued on. All I wanted was this. No, you're not. No, no, no. Don't change yourself for this person. Ooh. Oh, it's like, and I drove you crazy, but you made me do all these things. I like this one. It's like, I drove you crazy? Like, why? You you made me do all these things. I tried to be who you wanted me to be, and I drove you crazy. The production, though, on this song is so good. Woo! I like this one, actually. I really like this one. Ooh, this one was really good, actually. Chat number 16, Fall Over. Ooh. Ooh. One, two, three, let's go. Tip number 17, Before I Ever Met You. This sounds so Fifty Shades. Eee. Ooh. Oh, this is a breakup. Period, though. Ooh. Damn. Hey. Oh, motion unavailable. There we go. Things soon. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Period. Well, I like that one. I like it because it's the bad bitch energy we embody. Like, soon I'm gonna go back to before I ever fucking met you. So I won't even know you. I won't care even about you because I, I feel like I'm gonna like not know you. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. Chat number 18, bedroom wall. Oh, ooh. Don't care, baby. Ooh, I like this. Well, that was bedroom wall, and I really liked it. I really liked the production, honestly. Well, that is my reaction to God. This is a little long album, but I honestly enjoyed it. Um, I'm super happy I'm gonna react to this. There are some songs I'll definitely be listening to again as I see which ones I really like. I really like the entire album. I really do. There's not really any complaint that I have about this album. First in the middle though, it did get a little bit like, okay, but now I think I'm fine. I really like this album. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!